Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video, we'll do an in-depth review of the Samsung Galaxy Note. This is possibly one of the biggest Android phone that you can buy right now. So let's get on with the review. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Note and the first thing I'm going to talk about is the pricing of this phone in India. In India, you can find this phone for about uh, thir between 31 to 33,000. I have given the link of Flipkart uh, below so that you can get the latest pricing. And the first thing we'll do is a physical overview of the phone. Uh, the screen size is 5.3 inches. This is one of the biggest screens that you can find for an Android phone. And it sports a massive resolution of 1200 by 800 pixels. Again, that's a, uh, one of the biggest, highest for an Android phone. And on the front, we have the earpiece. We have two sensors, that's the proximity sensor and the light sensor. And we also get this uh, two megapixel front facing camera. And on the bottom there, we have just one physical button and we get these two capacitive type touch buttons. They get activated whenever you touch the screen. Moving on the top, we have nothing but one noise cancellation mic, but uh, I have noticed that this mic does not operate via normal calls but it gets activated only when you switch the phone to speakerphone and we have a 3.5 mm standard headphone jack and on the side we have this power button and i'm really annoyed with the location of this power button because it gets accidentally pressed a lot and uh, again moving forward we have nothing we don't have a physical uh, uh, shutter button for the camera i don't know why these manufacturers are omitting that and on the bottom we have a stylus with this pen that you can take out and uh, it's basically a stylus but Samsung likes to call it uh, what do you call S pen it gets neatly tucked away here and we have the mic we and we have the micro USB port and moving on to the, this side we have nothing but just the volume rocker and moving to the back we have a 8 megapixel camera which can actually shoot full HD that's 1080p videos and we have a flash also at the bottom uh, we have a small hole for the speaker phone the back the entire actually the front portion is made up of glass and this back portion is made up of plastic it's textury and uh, because of the fine texture it helps in holding the phone from the specs point of view this phone is pretty good because Samsung has put in a 1.4 gigahertz uh, dual core processor it's Exynos processor and we also get a dedicated uh, GPU and the battery uh, on this phone is a 2500 milliampere battery and uh, the other good thing about the phone is that it comes with a super AMOLED screen so the viewing angles are pretty good see I'm just tilting the phone to extreme angles but then also uh, you can easily uh, read what's uh, there on the screen so that's the power of the super amulet and bec the biggest high point about this phone is the screen i should say now uh, before moving ahead i just wanted to give you just a size comparison i have a couple of phones this is the obviously the galaxy note and this is the samsung galaxy s plus this is the original iphone and this is the HTC legend to just give you an uh, uh, idea about the size this is a 3.2 inch screen this is a 3.5 inch screen this is a 4 inch screen and this is the 5.3 inch screen so if you are planning to buy this phone I would highly suggest that you first go to a shop and hold the phone and see if it's okay for you because uh, I have been using this phone for about three weeks now and the general con uh, thing is that some people just love the phone and just some people just hate the phone so if your hands are small you will not like this phone also I felt like I tried I generally hold my phone like this and but at times I find it difficult to hold it for long times also because of the size I say that this phone is ideal for people who consume a lot of data but not uh, for people who talk a lot on the phone now let's get on to the net uh, the good thing about this phone is that uh, regarding the Wi-Fi it is a dual band it supports the 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz band I'm connected to the Wi-Fi and now we'll test the browser of this phone 
and let's just quickly just go to tech2bus.com tech2bus.com and as you can see it renders the page pretty quickly on the phone and the scrolling etc is pretty smooth the changing of orientation is also pretty uh, nice it does it without issues now what i'm going to do is let us uh, open up a story and now i'm what i'm going to do is play this flash video i'm going to zoom in a little bit So as you can see, it uh, plays the flash videos without any issues. That's not a problem. And uh, let me pause this. Let us go back to the home page. And even uh, the pinch to zoom gesture, let me go in this way. And the pinch to zoom gesture is also pretty silky smooth. No issues on that. So uh, if you browse a lot on the web, this is an ideal phone because of the large screen size and it can play virtually flash etc without any issues the skin loaded on this phone is the samsung touch Wiz 4 and you can do this gesture to get all the screens you can add up to seven home screens and you can also quickly move between the screens uh, via this gesture and generally it runs this ui without any issues the responsiveness of the phone is pretty good with the general ui i did not face any lag as you can see it works perfectly without any issues and uh, you can customize uh, a lot of widgets using this uh, touch viz ui i won't go into that but i have noticed at times this phone does lag a little bit with the ui i do not blame the hardware for that but i feel it's the software that is not currently optimized and i'm sure that these minor things will be rectified uh, with the software update but in general use you won't find that it is what do you say the phone is not responsive moving on to the storage this phone comes with the internal storage of 16 gb and out of that you get about 2 gb of space for your apps i feel that's really generous and uh, and the rest 11 uh, gb is for your general storage and also you can add a SD card if you like to this phone, a micro SD card and expand the storage to 30, uh, up to 32 GB. So you can expand the total storage of this phone up to 48 GB if you like. Again, RAM is also plenty, about uh, one gig of RAM is provided out of that 800 MB is available. Now I want to talk about the call quality on this phone. Sadly, many of the manufacturers are not putting much emphasis on the call quality and I find the call quality on this phone to be good, not the best. If I would say the best is about uh, 10, I would rate it 8. Uh, the other party which was hearing me, they could hear me very clearly. But the earpiece uh, what we have on this phone, I would say it could have been a little bit better for a phone of 30,000 rupees. Uh, but in terms of speakerphone performance, surprisingly, it was very decent. Uh, and Samsung provides us with these new type of earphones, white color ones, in-ear type. And we also get uh, multiple earbuds to suit you. But I have a huge problem with this uh, earpiece because the audio quality that you get from the microphone of this hands-free kit is totally rubbish it sounds really muffled moving to the camera uh, we get the stock camera interface we can switch between what do you say uh, the front facing camera or the back we get the touch to focus option you can touch an area and take a snap and it takes a snap pretty quickly no issues about that as you can see i just took a uh, snap i have done a detailed video regarding the uh, camera quality and video performance and we can toggle this way to the video so you can check that video for more info regarding the camera performance we can also uh, 
actually change the video taking capabilities from full HD that's 1080p we can go to the resolution and we have all these options the first one is full HD and this is 720p then we have the 720 by 480 we even have the 640 by 480 and 320 by 240 resolution and to be frank the picture quality uh, is pretty good and in natural daylight you won't miss your point and shoot camera but at night as usual all i feel all camera phones suck even with flash that's the same case with this one moving towards now let's do a little bit of gaming i'm not a big gamer but i did load some of the games for you all to test and the games load pretty fast as you can see the angry birds loaded pretty fast because of the dual core processor let me just quickly go here and you can easily play games like this there's a slight problem in the gaming as you can see angry birds works perfectly i'll just get out of this game and uh, let me uh, switch on this raging thunder as i had mentioned before this uh, the screen on this uh, phone has a very high resolution so as you can see this uh, raging thunder 2 demo it's only being displayed uh, not in the full screen because this is unconventional resolution so you might have problems with some of the games it doesn't happen with every game but uh, one or two games you might face this problem but the processor and the gpu uh, is pretty powerful and it handles the games without any issues so enough of raging thunder exit this race and format now uh, i am not too much into benchmarking because i feel the performance of a phone should be evaluated on the pros and cons but for you benchmarking guys i'll run this quadrant and we'll run this full benchmark sorry i'm not the custom but we'll run the full benchmark and uh, we'll see how it fares It has completed the benchmarking. It did it pretty quickly compared to other phones. And let's see what we get. Uh, it says our device is getting a score of 3515. So as you can see, it's pretty high. And the nearest competitor is the Nexus One 2.2. It's less than half so in terms of raw computing uh, this phone fares well because it has a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor and even the uh, gpu on the phone is pretty powerful uh, samsung also uh, bundles this kai's air application using which you can easily uh, sync the phone without installing anything on your computer it works with macs windows linux etc you just need a browser i am not going to give a demo about this because i have already demoed the skies air and it works perfectly now regarding the battery life this is a touchy thing with every android phone and i would say that for this phone the battery life is above average for android phone standards with the medium usage you should be able to last about a day easily and with light usage easily you can uh, last about two to three days so let us look at the battery usage for me as you can see i haven't charged this phone for about one day and six hours and uh, let, let me go back and let's see my battery life is still about six, uh, 59 percent uh, I've noticed that uh, if you do a lot of web browsing on this phone, uh, it drains the battery quite quickly. Also, I have noticed that if you uh, leave the Wi-Fi open, it even while the phone is sleeping, uh, it drains the battery a lot. 
which is pretty strange for me because for other android phones i leave the wi-fi on all the time and it does not drain the battery but for this model it's draining the battery thus i am constantly switching off the wi-fi when i'm not using it the reason this phone is called the note is due to this stylus which uh, samsung likes to call s pen and you can do some nifty things with it but it's not that practical because i almost even forgot that this thing exists there is a small button on this uh, s pen and you can do special stuff with that for example if you hold this uh, button and double tap on the screen you instantly get this note taking application and you can easily jot down notes let's say i have a to get milk i just can do stuff like this and surprisingly this uh, s pen is pretty responsive and it does a great job you can take down notes and uh, i used it for browsing for example uh, let's say this is a web page that i want to take a snapshot of the same so i press this s pen button and hold on to the screen and now it has taken a uh, screenshot of this now what I can do is I can uh, annotate on this. For example, let's say I want to annotate this Google. I can do stuff like that. You also get a full drawing app. I think so it's known as S Memo. Yeah, this is the S Memo and uh, you can actually uh, do draw stuff, etc. with this. And it's pretty smooth. I'm not a good uh, with uh, stuff like this, but a person who has used a digital uh, pen or something will appreciate it. I did not use the S Pen a lot, but for a person who likes to jot down uh, some notes, it might be useful. We can also do some other interesting stuff with the S Pen. For example, we have this page and I'm going to press the S pen and capture this page and let's say I just want this portion of the photograph so what I can do is go to the crop option and just highlight that area and if I press done now it'll just save this portion of the screen so it is it has some useful stuff but uh, I don't feel that going back to the stylus age is going to make sense. Now let's, let's look at the power consumption of this phone. Now I have attached my power meter and we're going to test how much power does it take to charge this phone. This phone has a huge battery, it's a 2500 mAh battery and I have inserted it now and it should start charging. And as you can see, our power meter indicates that it is consuming about 6 watts of power. And the thing I've noticed is that as the battery of this phone is pretty large, it takes considerable amount of time for it to charge the phone. At about, uh, I did not time it exactly, but at about, if the phone is around 20% of the charges only left, it will take approximately about 3 odd hours. So I could easily say that if the battery is completely depleted, expect about... Uh, between three to four hours for it to get charged completely. Now I'm going to remove the charger from the phone and we'll see if the charger is power efficient. And I'm happy to say that the, the charger is pretty efficient. When the phone is not connected, it doesn't consume any power. So what are my conclusions regarding this Samsung Galaxy Note? Uh, this is an interesting device which tries to uh, merge between a tablet and a phone and right off the bat I would say that this phone is not for everyone but for a person who basically uh, likes to consume a lot of data on the go and likes to do a lot of web browsing and stuff like that and those people will appreciate a larger screen size because it allows you to do a lot more and in that uh, aspect this phone excels but at times it can be challenging to use this phone for example uh, i would say that single hand operation with this phone is difficult i tried to uh, text with a single hand and i almost dropped the phone so while doing stuff you might need to use two hands with this phone also i have complaints with samsung it's not uh, 
regarding the hardware but the software because I have seen this phone to lag a bit at times uh, it doesn't lag uh, if you restart the phone every two or three days but there are some serious memory leaks because I left the phone without a reboot for about eight days and after doing some heavy browsing or stuff the phone used to lag a lot even getting back to the home screen would take about a second which shouldn't happen with the dual core processor I feel that uh, Hardware is not the culprit, but the software is the culprit over here. Uh, this phone comes with gingerbread and Samsung has promised that this phone is going to get the ice cream sandwich update, which should vastly improve the performance of this phone because ice cream sandwich is highly optimized for dual cold phones. And as I said, it's not for everybody, but if you like the size, uh, I would suggest that before buying this phone, go ahead and play around with it a little bit so that you are comfortable with the same. Uh, this is a great phone, the hardware is great, but I'm let down by a little bit because of the software. And I'm hoping with future software upgrades, the minor kinks that I have, Samsung would be able to address them. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate if you click on the like button given below. You can also subscribe to my channel to be notified about my future videos. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.